Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we did not expect to talk about the Mecha Golden Girls. I can't. Ever. There's bad ideas and then there's bad ideas. Yeah, I thought this was a parody. I came across this uh, accidentally. IndieWire had a story on this uh, pilot for Golden Girls 3033, which they basically take Golden Girls episodes and then animate them as if it were like the Jetsons or something. So Golden Girls are popular again. But yes. everybody involved with it's dead. Yes. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just make a new show with the old dialogue and animate it. Yes. That's and set basically it in the future. It. Yeah, I thought this was like a YouTube parody. No, no, they're actually trying to pitch this as a full blown series. I just okay. Um, and I'm gonna put a link. I can't really show you a whole bunch of the video probably because we'll get dinged for. It, but I'll put a link to the uh, uh, trailer. You can watch the pilot episode. Um. And it's freaking bizarre. I don't know what, I, to be honest, I don't even know what I think about it. Why make something new when you can just, you know, repurpose dialogue from dead women and make another show from it? <laughs> I, I mean, that's basically it. what they're doing. We're, they're just like, yeah, just just uh, 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 strip mine in the corpse of corpses of dearly departed golden girls. I just, I just. Uh... Anyway. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Thank you for being a friend. I just can't. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, because we want you to be our friend. Yes, I didn't get to do woohoo because he didn't tell you the total. That's okay. Uh, 272? Woohoo. There you go. Woo! All right. Um, so, yeah, I thought this was I thought this was a joke. It's not a I joke. I it was a joke. Uh, Golden Girls 3033 animated pilot envisions TV's most iconic foursome in the future. But it's the same dialogue from the original show. Yeah. So it, it's like you're not getting anything new. No. It's it's freaking weird. So they're just going to replay all the episodes, but just put it in the future. Apparently. Well, that's just dumb. You can just watch the episodes. Apparently. Uh, allow us to introduce you to our latest obsession, the five-minute pilot for Golden Girls 3033, which launches legendary TV force and Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia into the future, courtesy of BoJack Horseman's supervising director, Mike Hollingsworth. Yeah, that kind of adds up. Anyway. I thought it was a parody. I, I thought it was like, not like I didn't think they were serious. I did it as a joke originally, and then somebody's like, well, that's a cheap-ass way to, to get a lot more views. We've got Make new Golden so. Girls. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some new Golden Girls. The animated episode overlays original audio from a 37-year-old sitcom with Jetsons, Jetsons-esque visuals for a trippy juxtaposition of familiar sass and speculative futurism. Is yeah. that what we're calling it? Finds beloved quartet of Betty White, B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, and Estelle Getty still sharing a home in Miami, but now they're living a millennium beyond the present thanks to their discovery of the Fountain of Youth because it's in Florida. Uh-huh. According to the Pirates of the Caribbean, it's that's important. true. It's, there was an attraction; they found it. Yeah. Also, Sophia is encased in a giant yellow mech suit. Um. I just, I, out of frustration, I just started coming up with the craziest ideas, like the most rid ridiculous concepts. No shit. I was just riffing in the director's room at BoJack, like, well, of course, I'm also working on a show. It's the Golden Girls, but they find the Fountain of Youth, and now they're in the future. And male directors laugh. So I returned to it conversationally. But as time passed, his joke started to take his, they took his joke more seriously. I realized I'm having so much more fun talking about this ridiculous show and ideas for it. Dorothy's ex-husband Stan is a squid alien that I was trying to pitch what they were asking for. God. It's just... The good news is that Stan as a squid alien brainstorm survived the pitch stage with Hollingsworth using the 10th episode of the Golden Girl season four. Stan takes a wife as the basis for the episode he made himself during the pandemic. So he did this all self during the it pandemic. It looks like it. Uh, in the pilot, Stan shows off the invisible to the naked eye diamond he's purchased for his new fiance. The girls tear him to shreds just as they did in the original episode that aired in 1989. Except now his voice is all alien-y. Mm -hmm. He's like blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, oh my God. Okay, so it said it has attracted network interest. God, why? Um, according to Hollingsworth, but his dream is to see it on a streamer like Disney Plus or Hulu. 
Well, Disney would do it. It's cheap ass. They could repurpose what they already own and then they could get another show. Doesn't have to be good quantity over quality. So yeah, Disney would probably be all about it. <sighs> the show and pitching could just be the beginning of the whole Golden Girls of Verse, like the Marvel Universe, God. but with the Golden Girls. Stop it! They're dead! Stop. Stop it. I mean, it's it's a funny gag for like SNL, but do not you can't do. can't make it an ongoing show. Oh, they can and they will. I mean, they're merchandising the hell out of the Golden Girls. It's so oh, weird. Yeah, Disney's really milking that one. And they're dead. They're dead. And they they're own gone. the rights to the, to the audio, so it's going to be Disney. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It'll be Disney. It'll be on, yeah. So here we've got like Mecca Sophia. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. But again, this is a one-off gag. This is not something you can do. A whole show over. A whole show. Half-hour episodes every week of this? Are you effing kidding me? Or you could just go watch the original show. You could just watch the original show. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is not... Uh, I mean, is this where we're at? Is this literally where we're at right now with... Like, it's not enough just to to bring pop culture back to reboot, but now we have to desecrate on top of... Mm -hmm. I, I mean, look, it's a funny idea as a one-and-done five-minute thing on, like, a Saturday Night Live, but there's no way in hell I'd watch it. It's a whole shows. show of this. Yeah, I know. But there's network interest. There's network. You can shit in the box and there's network interest. It's the Golden Girls. They're popular now. Like all the millennials like the Golden Girls mm -hmm. now. Oh, but they're going to they're gonna need to reboot Friends and make Friends in the a millennium later too. Because Friends is popular again. Everybody's about Friends. Now with more diversity. Right. It'll, they'll all be they'll all be just just uh, race bent and stuck a millennium in the future, Friends. Oh, the end. Well, it kind of reminds me of um, C-Lab 2021. Yeah. You know, where they took... But the difference there is, look, C-Lab 2020 was not exactly... A well-known... A well-known property, mm -hmm. right? It was kind of funny. They were kind of strip mine in the Hanna-Barbera archives. And they, you know, that's... This is this is a whole nother level of what the fuck are you doing? Uh -huh. Why are you doing this? It just feels, it just feels like disrespectful in some ways. It, it does. It does. But you know what? Um, that's, that's what networks are all about now. That's what streamers are all about. This is not, definitely not for me. Um, I mean, I could see watching an episode just be like, what the hell did I just watch? Mm -hmm. And after that, just being like, yeah, we're done. Yep. We're done here. All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah, we're done here. We're done here. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. So run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. Or is it bootleg? Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effer up. Yes. <laughs>